Hello, here is Rainer Hof von Wellenhof speaking from the University in Graz, Austria. In the second part of Aqual Lesion, I want to show you some features of Aqual Melanomas. Many of the Aqual Melanomas are also easy to diagnose chemically and, of course, also in dermoscopy they display all the features of melanomas on other body sites. Here is another example of an easy to diagnose melanoma on aqual site. It's important to recognize the melanoma in earlier stages and here is an example of a large macule on the sole where it's not so easy to come to a diagnosis. So we have to remember a little bit again the anatomy of the glabrous skin. We have the ridges and in between the furrows. And it's important to know that the furrows are smaller than the ridges. This is important because one of the most important pattern of early aqual melanomas are the so-called parallel ridge pattern where you can find the pigmentation on the ridges. Again we see this aqual large macule with different colors. Now let's look in dermoscopy. We are here in this field of this large macule and where is the pigmentation? It is on the ridges because you can see here clearly the pigmentation and in between the furrows are non-pigmented. So this is a parallel ridge pattern which is a characteristic for an aqual melanoma. Let's now look at the fainter pigmentation here in this macule and again if you look carefully you see here again this parallel ridge pattern. Also this part of course is an aqual melanoma. Here we see another large lesion on the sole. And in dermoscopy we have again to look where are the ridges and where is the pigmentation. So here are the ridges as you can see and the ridges are more heavily pigmented. The furrows in between are non-pigmented. If you are not sure where the furrows is, sometimes these air bubbles can help you because the air bubbles are most frequently situated in the furrows. Another important parameter you can see in this lesion is the so-called different diffuse pigmentation which was described by the group of Luc Thomas 2010 as an important parameter for an acral melanoma. Rarely also benign lesions can show a parallel ridge pattern. Here is an example of a congenital nevus which displays clearly a parallel ridge pattern. The irregular fibula pattern is another pattern which is frequently found in aqual melanomas. In this pattern the lines crossing the furrows and the ridges are irregularly pigmented and also show a great variety in thickness. Here you see an example of a large macule on the sole and in dermoscopy we can see this fibula pattern crossing in an irregular way the furrows and the ridges and in a larger magnification you can 
see more clearly the irregularity in color and in the thickness of the fibrils. Also in this case we have an irregular pigment. It is important to remember that amelanotic acral melanomas can mimic any skin disease. Here you see more or less an ulcer and also in dermoscopy you don't see many features of a melanoma. Maybe here you can see some remnants of pigmentation and of course you can see here irregular vessels. But it's important to do a biopsy in such a lesion and it turned out to be a melanoma in this case. Another example looking like a viral one. And in dermoscopy you cannot see any specific parameter. Therefore you should do a biopsy. And also this lesion was an amelanotic acral melanoma. To summarize the pattern suspicious for acral melanomas. Of course there is the atypical pattern as you can find also in other melanomas. Then most important in early melanomas the parallel ridge pattern. Also the irregular fibrillar pattern is characteristic for an acral melanoma. And finally irregular diffuse pigmentation. I hope this podcast was useful for you and want to say goodbye and thank you for the attention.